Hey folks, it's Graham Lear, Paranormal Researcher. Um, we've had a lot of um, wind um, here in Sydney today. Uh, it's the day that the um, security programs uh, also stopped working in America and Australia and the, all the first world countries um, that runs MasterCard. and uh, It might be Visa Card or MasterCard, I can't remember which one was was uh, finished, but uh, it's resulted in the um, it's resulted in uh, the um, shops, um, the um, the shops across Sydney, the shopping centres, and that um, not being opened uh, because the um, credit card facilities would not accept payment. Um, gas stations across Sydney have also been in Jersey City, which is the old money payments. So I'm just out this, the the um, side of Angus's my nephew's grave. I was given a bit of a visit. So his is just over there. So just over there, his, I don't know where his is. I can just make it go a bit bigger, the Zim function. Here we go. We'll just see, yeah. Let's see if I can see it from here. Yeah, his is, his is, this is, won't zoom anymore, so his is just over there. No, no, it's, oh, I think they've taken his flowers away. Oh, where are they? No, no. Oh well, his flowers are there. You can't, yeah, you can't see them. Oh, his are just in the distance. Yeah, poor little darling. Anyway, he died. My my uh, my nephew Angus died at five and three quarters years old, oh, good. and he was uh, died in nineteen ninety four. So, yeah, he was very smart. He could um, uh, read. You could read. He'd never gone to school because he was too young, but he he could read a. Um, a child's book, and he read and learnt one, um, and it was I think it was like seven pages long, and he remembered every single sentence as well from memory. And um, his mother only read it to him once. He had a photographic memory. He was a genius. Um, if he he would be 35 years old now, Angus would be if he if he was still alive, and he he, he would be um, so smart. I've never you know, kid had never got to school. He was you know just a genius. What you know, my, I'd be ten percent as intelligent as he is right now if he had reached the age of thirty-five. He'd be a lecturer at university, professor. So how, this kid was out of this world. Um, extremely smart, little intelligent boy, and um, fortunately we lost him. So um, I think my, my brother Terry is his father. He lives overseas now, so he's he's he do, he's not able to visit Angus anyway. So I, I give Angus a visit with my dad at uh, Castlebrook Lawn Cemetery. So. Yeah, but anyway, I just want to say, everybody, that's as far as I can go. I'm just going to say the Our Father for um, Angus this week. Um, okay, and then... Have to. Yes, I do, sir. You, I think, did you say, do you have to? And I said, yes, I do. Okay. Um, it's in memory of Angus, and he enjoys our visits, same as my father does. So I say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the sign of the cross. I love you, Angus. I love you, Angus. I love you, Angus. I love you, Angus. And um, that's basically it. You know, it's a pretty chilly day in Sydney. Never know you know. Exactly how. And um, on the way um, here this morning, um, we, we, oh, it, was, it wasn't a small. Oh, it could have been this morning. We were on the way to, to a pathology place for mum. Anyway, there was a car that had been crushed by a falling tree. But luckily, it uh, didn't um, damage the car. It just took its front end out. And the person was still, I think they suffered from shock. And they had uh, fire brigade people there to um, take them out of the car. And the ambulance paramedics were all there and everything. But... Uh, when I looked at it, I think the airbag may have deployed, but the person was pretty shaken up. But I, you know, like I think that happened about like half an hour after we had gone down the same road. So it could have been us that were hit by the tree, yeah. But I just want to say anybody who's suffered losses due to that um, program, it was an, apparently it was uh, an upload to the security software for MasterCard. And what happened is the security feature program had it upload, but it had a bug in the program. So at this stage, it could be, folks, that it was an intentional um, bug that was put into the upload. And that sometimes happens to crash the system. So I don't know why it was done. It might have been done on purpose to see how Americans and the world would function if 
the internet and pre you know d different aspects of the internet uh, regarding to finance were not operating at this stage. It'll have to be investigated mm. further. But they did comment on the news broadcast um, that it was it's a bug um, as well. And I spoke to David um, Matheson as well. He's he's currently in uh, Sydney at the moment at the Hilton, and he rang me up this morning and he said. <laughs> There's a, a lot of police cars around Sydney at the moment, around George Street. I don't know what's going on there. And um, they think, that, I don't know if it's civil disputes going on. It's over um, over the, the shopping centres being closed. So he just said, he just gave me a bit of warning this morning. He gave me a call. I said, David, what are you on about? Aren't you in America? And he said, no, I'm, I'm lecturing for the uh, um, um, ASIO uh, conference, which is held in uh, Sydney. So, um, but he said, don't worry about me, I'm all right. And he said, just uh, be careful. He said, at the moment, it's uh, a lot of um, arguments going on where people, you know, buying their shopping and it's not going through. Um, and um, they basically have to walk out. It's either cash. <laughs> We're going to off overnight with a cash system. So some of the systems, I went to a shop, a pharmacy today, and the, the pharmacy, which is good, is, is actually working. But they even advised me that it's been up and down all day. So... Hopefully the system doesn't crash at all. But anyway, it's growing the paranormal researcher. Um, I'll just ask Angus or my father if they want to, you know, say hello or anything like that um, to us via EVP. I'll just ask Dad first. Dad, Dad, it's Graham, um, your son. Dad, I've just visited you at the grave. Do you want to say hello, Graham? Hello, Gina? Dad, do you want to say anything to Mum and I at the cemetery? We're, we're nearby. Do you want to say hello, Gina, I love you, or hello, Graham, Dad? Any Warren Lee? Warren? Can somebody please get my father's Warren spirit to say hello? Hello, Warren, Dad? Do you want to say hello? Dad, it's Graham, paranormal researcher. Do you want to say I love you, Gina? Love you, Graham. Dad, do you want to say hello? Anybody able to get Warren? to say hello? Any of my spirit guides? What about Angus? Is anybody able to get to Angus Lee to say hello to his his uncle and um, his grandmother? Angus, Graham? Angus, Graham Lee speaking. Do you want to say hello, Angus? Angus? What about my friend Michael Rezek? He's on the right of Angus. Um, Michael Rezek, do you want to say hello? Michael, it's Graham. I'm just near. I'm just a few hundred meters away in the car that's closest to where you guys are. You know, you're a bit quiet today, hey? That's okay. That's okay. We can always speak next week anyway. Okay. Well, it's Graham Lee, paranormal researcher. We're going to be signing off now. Okay, but uh, to everybody in America and that, keep keep cool. If you can't get money out the bank through the um, you know the 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 cash machines, cool. don't worry about it. There will be tomorrow. You'll just have to wait till they get the systems up. It's no good having civil disputes and all that over. Yeah, it's no good having civil disputes because you can't get your weekly shopping. You, my advice to anybody: we all have excess. Uh, drinks at home and, and things stored away as you should for a rainy day. So just say the system went down for a week, some people would start to starve because they only keep a day or two days food uh, reserves. So you should have lots of tins of food at home, lots of drinks, soft drinks and everything like that, sodas and all that stored away. Uh, mineral water is a good thing. That's what we have. Um, you know, dr dried um, milk, you know, powdered milk. You should also have that so you can continue mixing your milk up as well. Different things like that in case you're ever in a situation right. like this. Okay, um, okay. so uh, um, I think that's about all we've got to speak mm -hmm. about this week. Okay, so okay, we'll be signing off and speak to you guys next week. I'll just do a quick rotisserie around the, around the uh, rotation, 360 degrees. See if we can see any black spirit orbs. I don't think you can see anything, but you never know. Something might come up. We always do a th 360 at the end of our, our visit, we'll see what happens. Okay, and that's basically it, yeah. I know, I just heard somebody say I love you, so that could be either Dad or Angus, we don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off, folks, and see you next week. Graham Lee, Paranormal Researcher. Thanks very much. Take care, see you guys, bye.